As a kid, most of us waited every year, counted every moment, every second, until Christmas came. We all went the whole year keeping track of things we may want for Christmas. And when the time came, we'd write a letter to Santa. I remember in one of my first letters, I actually wrote, Dear Santa, I've been a good kid this year. I tried my hardest, and all I really want for Christmas is a PlayStation 2. And I'm sure many kids wrote letters like that too. Letters to Santa, that is, asking for whatever their little hearts desired. Truth be told, writing a letter to Santa is one of the most innocent things about the holiday. That said, what better way to corrupt the innocence of writing letters to good old Saint Nick than talking about cursed letters with tons of gore, violence, and enough horrors to keep you up at night? That said, Let's read through some of the scariest chain letters out there. Ruth A 14-year-old girl named Ruth was sitting at home eating tacos while babysitting her little brother. Her parents were out getting drunk. At 9 p.m., she put her brother to bed and he fell asleep almost immediately. She watched TV for a while, and about 1.28 a.m., the phone rang. She picked it up, and an eerie-sounding voice said something in a foreign language that she couldn't understand. Unable to do anything, she simply hung up. Later on, at about 3 a.m., the phone rang once again. The same voice came on the same phone and said, Check your brother's room. Ruth said, Who are you and what's your problem? Then she simply hung up again. She got scared and went to check on her brother just in case. She opened the door and there before her saw her brother hanging from the ceiling. He was dead. Ruth called the police and they came right over. They did the whole inspection thing, and she went to court and the judge found her guilty of first-degree murder of her brother, Helswick Oswald III. She was sentenced to life in prison. This is no joke. It's the true story of a real family of Fork City, Utah. She haunts those who do not retell her story, and she thinks it is them that murdered her dear brother. If you do not tell the story to at least 5 people in the next 313 minutes, she will appear at your bedside at 3.13am and hang you, just like it was done to her dear brother. I repeat, this is not a joke, it's real, and there are consequences for disbelief in the death of Pelswick Oswald III. Hello? And goodbye. Have you started reading? Good, because now you can't stop. If you do, you'll face the consequences. Hello, my name is... Well, you can call me whatever you want because I don't have a name. I am a six-year-old girl. The people who kidnapped me, tortured me, and hurt me very badly. They made me become a pickpocket and steal for them. They made me become their slave and serve them hand and foot. They would cut me with knives and make me bleed slowly just for their own amusement. They sliced me up piece by piece. They chopped off my hair, my ears, my nose, and my legs. Well, I had my revenge. <laughs> I still remember that day. If not for that day, the devil only knows where I would be. Lying dead in some gutter, no doubt. But here I am. Dead. Yet, alive. I bided my time. Waiting and waiting. Then, when I saw my chance, I grabbed a butcher's knife 
and dragged myself into their bedroom, where they were sleeping ever so peacefully. I crawled up on top of them, and when they demanded to know why I wasn't sleeping in my cage under the floorboards, <laughs> I just smiled. I still remember the words I said. The words that made me who I am. Hello. And goodbye. I chopped off their legs, giggling and chuckling while they screamed in pain. I chopped off their arms, crackling as I watched the color drain from their faces. Then, I stabbed them in their wicked hearts and watched them die. <sighs> Killing. Killing is now the only thing that keeps me sane. I needed to live. I call myself the Creeper, and I think you might just be my next victim. But since I'm ever so nice, and giving you a chance to live, if you share a link to this page with the title, Hello and Goodbye, with at least 10 people, in the next 10 minutes, I'll let you live. If you don't, you'll never sleep with the lights off again, because I'll be there, in the darkness, waiting for you. I'll come to your house at 10.45pm, the same time I killed my kidnappers, and kill you in exactly the same way I killed them. So, what are you waiting for? You'll have only 10 minutes. I'll see you soon. Clarissa. Warning, this is not a joke. Carry on reading, or listening, or you will die. Once, there was a little girl named Clarissa. She was 10 years old, and she lived in a mental hospital. She was sentenced there, not too long ago, for the sole reason that she killed her own mother. After some time in the hospital, her insanity got the better of her, and she went on to kill all the staff in the hospital. So the government decided that the best idea was to get rid of her. So they set up a special room to kill her, as humanely as possible, but it all went wrong. The machine they were using was not working properly, and she sat there in agony for hours until she finally died. Now, every week on the day of her death, she returns to the person that reads or even listens to this chain letter. On Monday night at 12 a.m., she creeps into your room and kills you, slowly, by cutting you and watching you bleed to death. If you do not share this story with 10 other people, she will come for you, she will haunt you, and you will die. Hope none of you were too put off by any of these scary chain letters. However, if you were, it looks like I'm doing something right. Anyhow, I do apologize for the lack of uploads recently. Finals week is getting closer and closer, and it's quite stressful. That said, let me know if you or anyone you know still writes letters to Santa, and what do you want for Christmas this year? And that about does it. Oh, but one more thing. If I were you, I would share these stories with someone else. You know. Just in case.